That said, I mean, Pichu, Zora, these are light characters that are very uh, liable to getting cheesed as well. So, I mean, Sora, I think he's a little more safe because he's got absurd recovery and a yeah. good disjoint and shit. But Pichu, man, what are, what are you doing with that character? Uh, not that he's bad. I mean, obviously, Nakat, one of the best in the business with the character. But here he's going to be going up against Spanky on the Pokemon trainer. Great tag. We just yeah, got Splash yeah. Daddy into Spanky. You already know. Only in esports would we ever see something like this. Yeah, Spanky and uh, a you know regular for SoCal um, in terms of just going to SoCal locals and stuff. So, okay. Yeah, I, I've definitely had uh, played Spanky in bracket before and just like in like friendlies and money matches and stuff. Super homie. And but Nakat now living in SoCal. Yep. Um, and obviously known for the Pichu, but Sora came out and this was the uh, most requested character for Nakat. So like right when yeah. Sora got announced, I was like, all right, Nakat uh, has a main. <laughs> Bro, he's had hashtag Sora for Smash in his bio for like the last two years. Yeah. Probably, like, in terms of smashes that I know, uh, the smashes that wanted Sora the most. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, and you don't want a down throw to up B from Ivysaur, though. Sora, seemingly the perfect weight to get both comboed and killed by that. Yeah, yeah. Sora, extremely floaty, um, has extremely active moves, and, you know, Zachary has won a major already with this character, which is phenomenal, but, you know, there's so much, it's it's a very mixed bag of opinions with Sora, you know, because of being so floaty and maybe having some of these slower moves and, you know, very susceptible in, like, these juggle scenarios, it can be pretty, like, you don't know really where to put Sora, right? Exactly. He's got a huge X factor, a huge question mark above his head when it comes to people placing him on tier lists. But you know what, man? I just realized something. If there's anyone who's going to be ready for that weird double jump and that floatiness, it's a former Ness player. Yeah, and yeah. The cat feeling right at home with something like this. Also, he's got fire and thunder and ice spells. Well, I mean, Ness doesn't have ice, but still, uh, yeah. <laughs> I see Ooh. the overlap here. I love the down tilt into the uh, up tilt there. That's probably the better like opener you can get off of a down tilt at zero. You go into the up tilt, which true combos into an up air, and then like Sora juggling someone, it, it's really tough. That up air, Sora's up air, is one of the better ones for juggling. Ooh, Ooh. there is the nair into the uh, fastball nair two into the up smash. Very good against floaties and even just very underexplored character in terms of there's a bunch of IDJ stuff and the cat is going on a tear right now. That was so sick. The up B just before touching the ground being like, nope, I ain't done swinging yet, baby. Don't drop that shield. And if you do, you know what? Good for me. And Sora up B, a powerful kill move. Not like really, really powerful, but we'll say very solid for an up B. And like up B out of shield, you don't see on the ground. You'll always go up. And speaking of up, man, that's the second <laughs> up B kill for Spanky here with the Vine Whip. That's definitely Ivysaur's favorite direction. Honestly, Pokemon Trainer's favorite direction, as we see Charizard taking a lot of stocks with up B and up smash as well. Yeah. So dying off the top as a floaty character, it is a little bit easier. You don't get that resistance due to gravity. We could see Sora die really early, but you know what? Nakat looks like he has come alive. He's figured something out. Right now, he's doing pretty solid here. Spanky very much within his grasp, though. If he can get one nice grab and then switch to Ivysaur and find something deadly. Yeah, we don't see too much uh, jab coming out. I, I think jab is a very great tool. Oh my no goodness! No way, you went dude! For you it. are you crazy. <laughs> Uh, yo, I'm a fan. I'm a Spanky fan now. The fact that he went for that, this dude is raw. Yeah, <laughs> he's out here, man. Spanky is out here. He's out there. Yeah, uh, true. Out there on the on the right side of the blast zone there. Unfortun <laughs> Unfortunately, not going to connect there for Spanky. I think uh, Nakat going for more of that out, like, slash down DI there to avoid that kind of setup there. Spanky betting it all. And you know what? There Sometimes you hit it, sometimes you don't, right? So. I'm going to be real, Charles. I think there was, like, a 3% chance of that killed. <laughs> He was, he was at 20. Like 20. He, he was yeah. at 20. <laughs> I, it, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. It was a reach. Yeah, it was. It was, it was. Should be playing Min Min. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Game two. That was that was still competitive, though. Absolutely yeah. not a blowout oh, by sure. any means. Going down to the last stock. Spanky kind of giving up uh, that on his own accord. But... Either way, we're going to see if he can get in there with the Squirtle. That's really where it all starts for Pokemon Trainer. You get a ton of damage on the board, switch to Ivysaur, get a cheesy early kill. Charizard if you need to just grime him out. And then, once you're up a stock, they run right into the Squirtle grab again and the process repeats. Yeah. Ooh, and there's the counter coming out. And Ooh. look at this. It is the Spanky show, even though not... Oh, wait, the down air? No, going to pull the trigger a little late on that attack, getting back on the stage. But look at all this damage that Spanky was able to rack up there on that sequence. Sora, one of the few characters blessed with the recovery good enough to get away from Ivysaur's down air. Yeah, yeah. Character is somewhat 
ungimpable, but you can do it if, if you're crazy. You just got to hit the top of the up B before he goes into Sonic, or because he always has to go sideways first for Sonic, That's a big you intercept deal. that. That's a big deal. I, I, I remember off the first trailer, I just thought Sora was going to have the best recovery, and then when I found out that you have to go left or right on the first, like, proc of side B after the up B, yeah. um, you are susceptible to counters because of that. And you can do some tricky stuff like going away, but that's only if you have enough room or space to go for it. And that forward tilt, Amazing forward tilt for two framing, ledge trapping. Um, I know Tweak yeah. was a huge fan of the forward tilt when he was playing Sora within like the first week or two of Sora coming out. All right, we're going to see all three hits of Sonic getting the cap back to the stage, win some stage control for himself. All right, you're frozen in time. Okay. I like the up tilt afterwards. It's a multi hit, right? So you're, you're, the chances of you like getting the actual final hit off of mm -hmm. that is really good. I didn't, I never thought about that. Yeah, smart stuff from the cat there. Also recognizing that Charizard would not have died even to a, a well timed up B or something. That's that's probably my favorite one is when they do uh, up B out of the ice breaking. Yeah. But yeah, it wouldn't have finished off Charizard. And oh, but that one will. Spanky looking like he actually held in a little bit. Sora's up B angle very weird. It's like mostly vertical, but also not entirely vertical. Yep. So. I, I don't know. No advice on what he should have done there, but <laughs> I can tell you it wasn't the right thing. Yeah, and I mean, Sora can do some little, like, planking off the ledge. The uh, the spells will kind of, like, float Sora there for a little yeah. bit, and ledge drop thunder is actually pretty strong, and then, like, double jump into something like blizzard or fire is also strong as well. So just, you know, these spells command a lot of space. They're not, like, broken by any means, but very solid projectiles, honestly. They're really good, yeah. Uh, oh, there it is. Down tilt wow. in the up smash. Taking out Charizard at 112 after the hit. What a confirm. That was insane. That move is yeah, actually a lot stronger. Kind of crazy. You like, think. yeah. You know, I, you know, I'm just saying, like... I, I am one of the believers that Sora's top tier. I, I do understand the argument, but there's the fair into the fair too. Didn't get the IDJ, so not as much hit stun. So Spanky is going to go ahead and retaliate. But yeah, I mean, I, I am a Sora believer. I do think this character is uh, top tier. And my, my top tier is like top 20, so. Right, right. Yeah, dude, I was a doubter for a while, and then I watched Zachary at Kagaribi, and it was like, all right, man, this character is clearly viable at the very least. He's, he's definitely good. Uh, Sora uh, will at least, bare minimum, shake up the meta. For he, sure. He like, will, this yeah. will affect the meta. He's um, a threat. Yeah, yeah. And Sora's just such a popular character. There's going to be top players that just commit to this character in general, right? And the cat being one of them, of course, a, a champion for years of the character's appearance in the game. So he's not going to waste that opportunity now that he's yeah. out doing so well here in game two against Spanky. It's not even close compared to what we saw in game one. Oh, oh try I'm to get the freeze edge guard. Yeah, if you snipe a double jump with that freeze, it's pretty much curtains. Backthrow will also KO here. But there, there's the tech and the cat going for it again. Damn, Nest mains. Oh, the footstool? But it doesn't matter. He's Sora. Yep. Oh, back to the ledge here, and this back throw is going to be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's a pretty solid back throw there. And Nakat closing that out, very Ness-esque. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's a mascot back throw, as my roommate Dre Charles the says. Mascot uh, another throw. Charles, there actually. You go. <laughs> um, but yeah, Mario, uh, Luigi, Banjo, yep, yep. Sora, like, you know, all, all the main character guys have some stupid spinny throw that kills you at 160. There you go. Sora being no exception. But, guys, I believe that is going to do it for Charles and I here. It was such a pleasure bringing you guys these sets. They were all front to back, really fun to watch. Even, Fire sets. Even the like, body bags in the beginning, right? Yeah. It's like it's good to see some new blood in the scene. That always keeps me motivated to keep doing what I do. And, uh, yeah, just shout out, shout out to all the new faces that we've accumulated through the, the last two years that, you know, we haven't met yet, um, that yeah. we're not familiar with. It's great to see you guys coming out and keep it up. All but, right. uh, actually, before we go, got to tell you about corn base <laughs> uh, i love that video <laughs> oh sorry actually it is a uh, a giveaway at the uh oh shit dude I'm, I'm floundering bro where is it where is it on the sheet oh uh is it on the back oh, hey we got it the the oh, i'm so sometimes sorry you gotta, sometimes you just All gotta right. hit it with the flip that's why they pay me the big bucks so guys <laughs> if you want to enter the giveaway for main stage and get a chance to win a Nintendo Switch, five oh. cases of Mate Mate, hey. an Asus uh, Republic of Gamers, Republic of Gaming uh, router, and uh, Smashbox, and limited event merch from BTS. Please go to bts.gg slash giveaway or click on the banner in the, uh, the stream. It should be right there for you. It's going to end November 14th. That is tomorrow night, just before midnight. So please get yourself in there. You get a whole bunch of cool free stuff. I love and free stuff. Uh, look, look at this, man. The it's gamer router. Free, yeah, that's a bunch of free stuff right there. It's got spikes coming out of it and shit. 
<laughs> that's how you know it's a gaming router, right? Like Don't it, step it, on it. It looks crazy. It's got the defense mechanisms, but, <laughs> you know, no troll, man. Sh again, shout out to all the sponsors, or I mean, all the partners here, and just amazing merch all around. I can't wait to hit up the merch booth as well. Like, look at just the, the joggers look clean, the shirt. The, I, I, I'm a huge fan of just the BTS logo. It's like, Sam, it's so clean. Nice. Yeah. Those, those mountains, bro. It looks like cores or something, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, no, I'm just playing. But yeah, guys, please go ahead and check out that giveaway. Who doesn't love free shit, man? I do. Like, I'm going to enter. So <laughs> yeah, free. See, you know? Yeah, see me in that tournament. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> a, a little uh, little RNG for you guys. So please uh, check out the giveaway, bts.gg slash giveaway one more time. And you know what? Good luck to all of you with your submissions. Please enjoy the rest of the tournament. You'll see a little bit more of us for the rest of the weekend. Yeah, yeah, for but sure. But for now, it must be our time to go. Stay tuned.